नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर तुषार गोडबोले कंसल्टेंट पीडियाट्रिक एंडोक्रैनोलॉजिस्ट इन द सिटी ऑफ नासिक एंड आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग हियर सिंस लास्ट टेन इयर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन द डायबिटीज मैनेजमेंट एंड दैट इज सेल्फ मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ ब्लड ग्लूकोज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द एस एम बी जी नो मेनी ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड द टर्म एस एम बी जी इन डिफरेंट कॉन्टेक्सट्स बट वॉट इज दिस एस एम बी जी सेल्फ मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ ब्लड ग्लूकोज इट एसेंशियली हैपन्स एट होम इन द सेटिंग वेर यू आर लिविंग एंड यू आर सपोज टू चेक यूर ब्लड ग्लूकोज विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए पॉइंट ऑफ केयर मशीन दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ग्लूकोमीटर सेल्फ मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ ब्लड ग्लूकोज गिवज यू अ पीक इन टू योर शुगर प्रोफाइल अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड एस एम बी जी ऑन द अदर हैंड इज ए मोर स्ट्रक्चर्ड वे ऑफ एनालाइजिंग योर ब्लड शुगर कंट्रोल एंड इट कुड बी डन इन वेरियस वेज लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ए स्ट्रक्चर्ड एस एम बी जी लॉग और एन अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड एस एम बी जी प्रोफाइल सपोजिंग अ पर्सन इज लिविंग विद डायबिटीज एंड ही इज रिसीविंग ओरल ओरल हाइपोग्लाइसिमिक एजेंट्स और टैबलेट्स देन दिस पर्सन कुड बी डूइंग एन एस एम बी जी लाइक अ फास्टिंग शुगर ऑन वन पर्टिकुलर डे अ पेयर्ड एस एम बी जी ऑन वन पर्टिकुलर डे विथ अ शुगर दैट इज प्री मील एंड टू आवर्स पोस्ट मील एंड ऑन अनदर डे ही और शी वुड बी डूइंग अ शुगर दैट इज बिफोर डिनर एंड आफ्टर डिनर अ पर्सन हु इज रिसीविंग इंसुलिन थेरेपी फॉर डायबिटीज कुड बी डूइंग अ मोर स्ट्रक्चर्ड एस एम बी जी द एस एम बी जी रीडिंग टेल्स यू अबाउट द करंट शुगर रीडिंग एंड इट गाइड्स यू इन टेकिंग द इंसुलिन इन एप्रोप्रिएट डोसेस वॉट आर द डिफरेंट parts of the structured smbg let us try and understand what is a fasting sugar fasting sugar is the first checked smbg sugar in the morning that tells you how your day going to be if the fasting sugar on your smbg is high the patient is alerted towards taking adequate precautions the pp sugar is to be measured on smbg after 2 hours after a particular meal let us say the lunch or the dinner this pp sugar or the post prandial smbg sugar tells me about the adequacy of the oad that is the drug that is taken for that particular meal or the insulin dose that is taken for that particular meal if you are an athlete if you are a sports person and you you want to know what is the effect of the exercise on your sugars then you could be do, uh, you could be doing an event oriented smbg for example the sugar at the start of your sport event let us say a football match and what happens to the sugars after 2 hours or 4 hours or 8 hours after the football match could be assessed on a structured smbg that is event oriented so these are the parts of smbg that helps the doctor understand your overall sugar control and also helps the doctor to uh, take care of the doses of your insulin or the oral hypoglycemic agents who should be doing smbg it's a very important question all individuals who are receiving insulin therapy like type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes who are on currently multiple insulin injections should be doing smbg daily and they should be checking their sugars uh, pre meal every day in order to decide the insulin dose the patients who are not on insulin but who wish to have a very strict control a lady who is pregnant and having gestational diabetes is another indication to do your smbg because you need a very strict control in order to have a smooth pregnancy and an uneventful birth and a healthy baby any person who has had severe hypoglycemia any time in the in his uh, diabetic life should be offered self monitoring of blood glucose to me if you ask any person who needs to improve a blood sugar control should be given the choice of doing smbg uh, it is often said that self monitoring of blood glucose is cumbersome it is painful it requires one to be poking a needle in the fingers yes there are challenges 
but then the information that you are going to get out of these SMBG records is worthwhile. It, it is often said that the number of times you are checking your sugars on your own is directly proportional to your sugar control and it indirectly translates into a better HbA1c, a better quality of life and less chances of long-term diabetic complications. SMBG in turn prevents long-term complications, hence the short-term pains are actually uh, better than the long-term complications. So I'll urge all the patients who are on insulin therapy to do self-monitoring of blood glucose and not just monitor but also document this in a structured manner with a uh, glucose diary. One could be using various applications to record these blood sugars and there are multiple such applications that one could be using and using these techniques to record your SMBG and presenting this sugar log to your doctor or your diabetic educator actually helps the healthcare team to um, understand your sugar control and do justice to your treatment and achieve a better sugar control. Whenever you are doing an SMBG, it is not only important to measure but also analyze what sugar reading am I dealing with and what could be the cause for this sugar. For example, if the SMBG shows me a reading such as 68 or 65, then it, it should be recognized as hypoglycemia and I should be analyzing and thinking what caused this hypoglycemia. Was it the event that happened previously to this, for example, an exercise? Or was it the excess insulin that was taken for the prior meal? Similarly, if the sugar reading is above 180, which is considered as hyperglycemia, then I should be analyzing the cause of this hyperglycemia and what caused this. Was, was it something in my meal that I forgot to take into the consideration? And similarly, based on these readings, I should also be taking some actions. It is not just important to check and write it on a piece of paper, but also analyze and take actions. Level 1 hypoglycemia is considered as a sugar that is 70 or below. Level 2 hypoglycemia is considered as any sugar that is 54 or below or any sugar reading that is coupled with the symptoms of hypoglycemia such as restlessness, tremors, excessive sweating, uh, fr feeling frightened or altered sensorium. So these are the severe forms of hypoglycemia where based on the SMBG reading, a parent or a caretaker can immediately uh, administer two to three spoons of glucose and this person with hypoglycemia can be uh, helped. So this is the importance of SMBG that can happen at home. Often patients complain that the fingertips hurt. So the idea is to rub the fingers, massage them a little bit and make sure they are pink. If the fingers are cold, in, in a particularly cold atmosphere, in air conditions, if the fingers are blanched, they are pale white, the blood is not going to come out. So it's a very good idea to shake your fingers first, you know, massage them a little bit and then use your the pricker pen to prick the uh, finger. It is not recommended to use a big needle because it hurts a lot. So please use the pricker pen to prick your finger. Secondly, do not prick on the pulp of the finger because that is the most sensitive area of your finger. Instead, avoid the pulp and go on the sides of the finger that are uh, less sensitive and also do not come in contact with your day-to-day -day objects like holding a pen or a pencil. So these are few tips from my side for a better SMBG monitoring. All of you who are using SMBG or wish to use SMBG, please discuss with your doctor and please discuss the right frequency of SMBG that is suited for your kind of diabetes. And I'll end by saying that whatever gets monitored, gets measured and gets managed. So I urge all of you to kindly use a glucometer to check your glucose that is called as the self-monitoring of blood glucose and I wish all of you to take charge of your diabetes journey. Namaste.